The original Star Trek television series is about as iconic as they come. And since its debut over 50 years ago, this particular set of actors set the bar for each of the characters that they played. Especially these two. There was a time when I couldn't imagine anyone else besides Leonard Nimoy and William Shatner playing Mr. Spock and Captain Kirk. And now that I think about it, I've got to include DeForest Kelly as well. His Dr. McCoy was just the perfect amount of crankiness to offset Spock's infuriating logic. These three are probably my all-time favorite trio on television. They were just so darn good together. However, would you believe that there was a moment while Gene Roddenberry and team were still casting the original version of Star Trek where Leonard Nimoy was not the frontrunner for the role of Mr. Spock? It's true. You see, Gene had another actor in mind for the role. An actor that, I know it sounds kind of crazy saying it out loud, but here goes. The actor that Gene had in mind for Mr. Spock was none other than George Lindsay. That's right, good old Goober Pyle from Mayberry, North Carolina. I know, I know I'm still scratching my head about this one as well. However, one must remember that around the mid-60s there weren't many shows more popular than The Andy Griffith Show, and after Gomer headed off to the Marines, George was getting some pretty serious screen time on the show, and I'm betting that's how he caught Gene's eye. Now, if you're still kind of doubting this little bit of Trek trivia, we could head on over to the MeTV website where I'll present this article as Exhibit A. You could also check out George Lindsay's Wikipedia entry which mentions that he was aware that he was being considered for that legendary role. Or perhaps the most interesting source to verify this claim is actor Ernest Borgnine. In his autobiography titled Ernie, Borgnine, who was a close friend of George's, confirms that his buddy was pretty darn close to leaving Mayberry for good to embark on a five-year interstellar voyage. It should probably also be mentioned that while George Lindsay may have been Gene Roddenberry's first choice to play Mr. Spock, he wasn't the only actor that was considered. Apparently, there was some talk about asking Martin Landau to audition for the role. Truthfully, that one actually makes a ton of sense to me. But there was another actor that again just kinda makes me scratch my noggin a little bit. Apparently Michael Dunn was also considered for the role. Now don't get me wrong, I think that Michael is a wonderful actor. But I also think it's fair to say that if he had been cast as Spock, he would have been a dramatically different version than the one that we came to know and love. So what do you think? Please share your thoughts in the comment section and while you're at it I'd love a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I would be absolutely honored if you would consider subscribing to my channel. I talk about music, movies, and mostly TV from decades gone by. You know, the good stuff. I have another video about Leonard Nimoy that I bet you would enjoy watching. There it is. Go ahead and click on it. I am done here. Thanks so much for watching.